Hi there, this is NodeMCU. Well, we all know about this NodeMCU since it's a cheap development board with Wi-Fi. This can be used in low-cost IoT related projects. This is another version of NodeMCU. This is designed by me. It has a USB Type-C port and built-in NeoPixel LEDs. But have you ever seen a flexible NodeMCU like this? Yes, this NodeMCU can be bent, twist and turned. And of course, this will work just as a normal NodeMCU. I designed this flexible NodeMCU in ECEDA and fabricated the PCBs from JLCPC. So in this video, I am showing how I designed, fabricated and assembled this flexible NodeMCU. Now, let's get started with this video. So everything started from designing the circuit in ECEDA. Here I have added the brain of the NodeMCU, that is the ESP12V board. Then I added the necessary components for the proper working of ESP12V. Next, I included the header pins, Type-C USB port, NeoPixel LEDs, finally the USB to TTL converter for programming. So after designing the complete circuit diagram, I converted the diagram into a PCB. We can design a flexible PCB just like a normal rigid PCB. So I designed the PCB like this. While designing the board, I have used the form factor just like a normal NodeMCU. Finally, here is the designed NodeMCU. After finalizing the design, I downloaded the Gerber files for PCB fabrication. Now I went to JLC PCB for PCB fabrication. I chose JLC PCB because they offer only $2 for 5 hours on PCBs and also they have PCB assembly, 3D printing, CNC machining, mechanical part sourcing etc for cheap price. To order, click on order now and upload the Gerber file. After uploading, select the base material as flex. Then we can select different substrate type if you want, like transparent. After that, we can select quantity, color, thickness, etc. Also, we can add stiffener if we want. Here I also added a stencil for the PCB. Finally, we can select the shipping method and place the order. After 10 days, I received the PCBs from JLC PCB. After opening the box, we got the PCBs and stencil. The PCB looks nice and as always, the quality is outstanding. Then I place the flexible NodeMCU PCB on a rigid PCB and stick the stencil on it because I don't have a stencil holder. Next, I applied the solder paste to the PCB through stencil. Then I started placing components one by one. You can find the circuit diagram and component list from the video description. Okay, after placing all the components to the specific parts, let's reflow the PCB. Here I am using the Miniware MHP50 hot plate with 200 degrees Celsius. Surprisingly, the PCB is okay with that temperature and everything reflowed successfully. So here is the final assembled PCB. This is just a use case example of flexible PCB. We can make different type high quality flexible PCBs using JLC PCB flexible PCB fabrication service. You can find circuit diagram and component list from the video description. So that's all about today, hope you enjoyed and got some fresh ideas. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.